Good morning, dear students. Today we are going to learn decision making under risk. Last class we have seen how to solve the problems of decision making under uncertainty. Today, let's see to make a decision if the situation is risky. Okay, that is. In a situation, there is confusion and risk factor and probability. Okay. So, he has some knowledge or experience which will enable him to assign the probability to the occurrence of his state of nature. This is a correct attitude. We have to give the probability of the importance. Because he is having some knowledge which will enable him to assign the probability. So, we have to our person, a decision maker, a little idea on what will happen, what can happen. So, that's why we have decision making under risk. The objective is to optimize the expected profit or to minimize the opportunity loss. That's why under risk in the objectives to optimize the expected profit or to minimize the opportunity loss. Decision making under risk is Two methods are known the EMV and EOL. EMV means expected monetary value criterion and EOL is expected opportunity loss criterion. That is the brand method. Okay. So EMV, expected monetary value. This is the payoff, payoff table and main at consider. So, when the probabilities can be assigned to the various states of nature, it is possible to calculate the expected payoff for each course of action. Probability under payoff value on the other which expected payoff for number calculate. Here. Okay. Here's the problem for EMV. If the states of nature S1 and S2 and alternate is A1 and A2 are given, and let the payoff value, payoff table number turn it under. 30, 20, 35, and 30. Probabilities also we are having. S1, S2 states in the probabilities 0.6 and 0.4 respectively. So, we will EMV calculate here. EMV for A1 we are calculating. First strategy, alternative strategy A1 in the EMV in the 30 into probability of S1 that is 0.6 plus 35 into probability of S2, 0.4, and you will get 32. Next for strategy A2, EMV is 20 into 0.6 plus 30 into 0.4, and you are getting 24. So, strategies in EMV is getting the maximum value, highest value is for A1. Okay, so therefore, the decision maker will choose the strategy A1. So this is expected monetary value EMV calculated in the ring. Okay. So we have probabilities or probabilities. Probabilities are the pay of values are the So A1 strategy which is the Okay. So 30 into 0.6 plus 35 into 0.4. That's the first for strategy 1 and for the second strategy 20 into 0.6 plus 30 into 0.4. Okay. Next is EOL, expected opportunity loss criteria. And here the loss table is considered. Loss table and even number consider. So given is an opportunity loss table, A1 and A2 are the strategies and S1 and S2 are the states of nature. And the value 0, 10, 2, minus 5. Probabilities we are having 0 0.6 and 0 0.4 for S1 and S2 respectively. Okay, so EOL calculated chamber EOL for A1 0 into 0 0.6 plus 2 into 0 0.4 that is 0 0.8, 10 into 0 0.6 plus minus 5 into 0 0.4 and that is 4. Here the least you have to get A1 is least. Okay, but I'm like a value on it. So EOL for A1 is least. So, the decision maker has to select the strategy A1. Alana, expected opportunity loss. 
So if the payoff table you are having, you have to find the regret table and you have to solve. So we know that. So you have to get the regret table, opportunity loss table, and then you have to applicate EOL method. So next, decision making under risk factor expected value of perfect information evpi is cost effectiveness analysis decision theory top evpi common health industries suppose a disease treatment, a new disease, I need treatment and we analyze here. So, we uncertainty. So, we have true or false. Our decision. Reward chances. Because of the health to our issue. So, there are chances. So, in case, Correct. Expected value of perfect information. The third point in Okia the expected value of perfect information is used to measure the cost of uncertainty as the perfect information can remove the possibility of a wrong decision. The Tivaran or La Sathida. Other accurate. Our accuracy is cost effectiveness analysis and the first point. So, that's why we the EVPI method. Actually, try to do it. For example, compute EVPI from the payoff table given below, known that, and we are having probability of S1 that is 0.5, S2 is 0.4, and S3 is 0.1. And this is a payoff table we are having. So, if we have one of the EMV, okay. So, 30 into probability of S1, that is 0 0.5, that is 15. 20 into 0.4, S2 probability 0 0.4, 14 into 0.1. Namla okay. So, and then you are getting uh, that you are getting the EMV value as. 27. Add either in you are getting 27. Next, A2 strategy add either. Again, downwards, you are multiplying each value with the corresponding probabilities and add them, you are getting the EMV 29.5. At the A3 add either, you are getting 22.5. Okay. So, if the highest EMV value is 29.5. Okay. So, now we are having the EMV with us. Next step, calculate the expected value with perfect information. Okay. That's why we will say that we will say that we will say maximum value will S1 state of nature say that we will say that we will say that we will of nature we maximum value 30 S2 35 aana, S3 40 and our row at a maximum value. Probability we are having 0 0.5, 0 0.4, and 0.1. Right. So 30 into 0.5. That is the expected value of S1. And for S2, it is 35 into 0.4, that is 14. S3, 14 into 0.1, that is 4. So add them, you will get 33. So Idana Namalda expected payoff with perfect information okay now you have to find expected value of perfect information that is evpi expected value of perfect information okay expected value with perfect information minus optimum emv so namak expected value with perfect information 33 kitty EMV maximum value 29.5 the difference is 3.5. This is the uncertainty rate. We have cost effectiveness analysis. So, we have health industries. We have health industries. We health industries. We have 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 
PI that is expected value of perfect information. Okay. So, in the number of the decision making under risk. Okay. So, simple on it. She have a correct hour probability you say the correct at the chain on the math rule. So, she the very nail is reward a useful on it. Under uncertainty, a card like who the use is under risk because we know the probabilities. Question would clear on it. That's why we use this question. This method is used. Thank you.